We have continuing coverage tonight on the search for a missing upstate kayaker. Authorities have been looking for 64-year-old Brady Hamby since Wednesday. News 13's Darren Patello has been following this story and joins us live from our Greenville News Center. And Darren, this afternoon you spoke with a woman who says she saw this missing boater. That's right, Tammy. Not only does this woman say she saw the boater, she saw him disappear in the same area where authorities say they found his kayak. In day three of the missing kayaker search, this man realized his wife may have been a witness. And he's pattering, and like he's pattering toward to the middle of the bridge. And that was the last time she saw her. Fred U. Selton is speaking on behalf of his hearing impaired wife, who says she was at work when she saw an older man in a lime green kayak disappear near the Interstate 85 bridge on Lake Hartwell, the same spot where authorities found 64-year-old Brady Hamby's overturned kayak. She didn't think nothing about it because, you know, there's always something going on in the Lake Hartwell, you know, especially she was washing in because she thought it was a pretty day that day, but you know the water's got to be cold. Scott Krein, who heads up emergency services in Oconee County, says water temperatures under 96 degrees would cause havoc for even an experienced diver. This afternoon, Lake Hartwell was 57 degrees. We hope for a, always hope for a good outcome, uh, but we are trying to just get closure right now for the family. Krein says Hamby was in good health and is chalking this up to an accident. A very athletic man. Uh, very uh, outdoorsy, paddled a, a good bit, just new to this area. Uselton's wife says Hamby didn't seem in distress while heading towards the bridge that connects South Carolina and Georgia, only adding to the mystery of why she didn't see him come out on the other side. She didn't think nothing about it. She figured she might have, he might have pulled off the side or something like that until we heard it on the news that the man was missing. Now, the director for Oconee County Emergency Services tells News 13 that the search for today wrapped up just about half an hour ago, but will resume tomorrow around 8 a.m. Live in the Greenville News Center, Darren Botello, News 13.